Well, it was 17 years ago that this picture helped change the way that doctors, nurses, even parents treated a newborn child. The power of touch was revealed and a dying baby was saved. Here's our Lisa Sylvester and the impact of the rescue hug. Something very special happened inside the neonatal intensive care unit at this hospital in Worcester, Massachusetts. October 17, 1995, twin girls were born here, 12 weeks premature, each weighing only about two pounds. This is the twins' father, Paul Jackson. The nurses in the NICU were, were they're very honest. And they say, they told me up front that things look pretty good now, but to be honest with you, that in the next 48 to 72 hours, they said things can turn very quickly. And turn it did. When they were only three weeks old, one of the twins was struggling to breathe. Her heart rate was soaring, her oxygen level dropping quickly, and she was turning blue. A nurse had the novel idea of taking the stronger twin and putting her in the same incubator as her sister, a procedure that at the time had never been done before in the U.S. And it was one of those things that was, you know, it happened very quickly. And they really couldn't move that much, but it was a little bit of a squirm and the arm kind of just went up. The healthier sister, tiny Kyrie Jackson, put her arm around her sister Brielle. Her breathing and vital signs instantly stabilized. The image captured by a newspaper photographer who happened to be at the hospital. This heartwarming picture dubbed the rescuing hug was seen in newspapers around the world. In Life magazine and Reader's Digest, it highlighted the amazing healing power of touch. That was 17 years ago. And the girls? Now all grown up. Driving, taking honors classes, juniors in high school. Closer than ever and in sync. Um, sometimes we speak at the same time or um, one person's thinking like, oh, are you thinking of a song? You're like, yeah, it was the same exact part. At the same exact song. And of their early fame? Sometimes we'll just Google it. The stress you hug and they're just like, oh God. Like typical teenagers, they roll their eyes at the attention this has received. But it was a moment that wasn't just sweet, it was also historic. It showed the medical profession the profound impact a simple touch can have. Skin to skin contact and what's known as kangaroo care, even for very young babies in the NICU. Is that really a question? Yeah. The twins are now looking at colleges. They may choose to go on to separate universities, but that twin bond, that will always be there. If one's sad, then the other gives the hug, I guess. She's kind of my output, I guess as well as like input as far as like giving me hugs or giving me support. An endless hug that began here. Oh, Lisa, we're all in tears. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we're all saying, you know, like, got the tissues oh going. My God. Oh, Lordy, talk about a mom moment because we can all relate. Yeah. It happened oh, to all of us. Absolutely, and that's the thing about it. And I've got to just say, I love, love, love that family. I love the dad. You know, their mom, actually, she wasn't part of the story because she's working all these crazy hours. She actually became a nurse after the whole experience that they went through. So it's just such a wonderful family. And the twin girls are doing fabulous. They're doing very well. And it's just one of those really heartwarming stories. And you're right. It's something we can all relate to. We've all been there. We've all held our babies against our chest. And so it's very heartwarming. And, and Kim, really, and there's, there's Lisa uh -huh by the way, with her little boo-boo. Yes. <laughs> um, and then Kim, let's look at you and your boo-boo. Uh, you had a preemie as well. I you did. know the value of skin to skin. Yeah, and that, that kangaroo hold they were talking about, I experienced all of that when my child was in the NICU. And you, you, you really have a lot of faith and you really understand these doctors and these nurses are fighting for these kids. You know what I'm saying? They're really fighting for them. And it's just a blessing. When I saw that, I just started bawling. I was just like, ooh. <laughs> and your family, we saw, yeah. beautiful, all grown up. I had the same situation with my, I had twins, and oh, Lisa wow. knows, yeah. And my daughter, Sage, was having respiratory problems. And they had just taken me out of the, the OR. And I remember my oh. heart beating, and you're coming off these drugs. And they brought her into me, you know, and they pulled down my robe, and they put her right on my oh, chest, good. skin yes. to skin. I'm like, what's going mm -hmm. on? Is everything OK? And they didn't want to freak me out at that moment, but they were were telling me the power of the skin to skin because she was having respiratory problems. And, and you know what, there's a lot of things that you can't explain with science and the, 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 the power of healing a lot of times comes through 
in, in other things, spiritually, uh, subliminally. You know, you talk about people that, that hear a, perfect, a, a particular song and they feel better. And, and so there's a lot of things you can't explain, but that, that's such a beautiful story and it's, it's true. I believe it. Human touch yeah, can it, heal. It, Amen. Yeah, there's, there's no question to that. And that's actually one of the things, the advice that I give, like to girlfriends and friends who are having babies. One of the things I tell them is when you get your baby, unswaddle your baby, because they, they bring to you this perfect little burrito baby that's all swaddled and wrapped up. Yeah. Unswaddle your baby and put your baby skin to skin directly on your chest. And it's wonderful. It was the best advice I received in terms of nursing that really helped with breastfeeding and nursing and everything else. One thing I will say, though, is that the doctors say, as far as putting babies together in the same incubator, in this case, they were under they were under supervision. They were in a hospital setting, being monitored. So that's one thing that you do have to be careful of. That they do warn you against mm. because of the risk of SIDS. So just to know that in this case, these uh, two babies were being very closely monitored on heart monitors and the like. But a wonderful story, and absolutely the power of touch. Hold we, baby, we need some tissue baby. out Love here. Yes, we, we need more, more tissue out here. So there's the lesson, folks. As we raise America, just remember how important from the moment of birth it is to hold that baby close.